it's been silence at Bollywood. That perhaps explains uh, silence from here too. But come uh, Diwali, we've had some films out and uh, one of which is uh, Lakshmi. Uh, the pronunciation also about the film is wrong, spelling error maybe. Uh, the uh, right to have a proper noun spelled the way they want and so we have Lakshmi. Uh, Lawrence of Chennai is riding an unruly horse. Obviously pepped up by the success of Kanchana, he is out making a Tindi film, a Tamil type Hindi film. And you can see a streak of all the Tamil humor, the kind of humor that uh, Kovai Sarla has uh, is forced on somebody like uh, Aisha Reza. So it's a ghost comedy ending up being a ghastly comedy. Akshay Kumar is hamming his way through this film. Story deals with a haunted gentleman. Even that is said in the petitions because uh, the it's just a chanced uh, cup of tea that is uh, ideally so was to be taken by Rajesh Sharma, the father-in-law of uh, the main hero in the film, Akshay. Instead of he taking the tea, Akshay takes the tea, and the tea comes from a plant where they have lemongrass, which was uh, uh, into which soil was a. Uh, wicket which had blood which came from a uh, ground nearby which was desolate but these boys had decided to go and play cricket. So there are wheels with wheels with wheels to get the ghost connected to Lakshmi. Unlike in uh, Kanchana, the events happen at the parents-in-law's house of the protagonist. Unlike in Tamil, you know it happened in the house of the hero. And uh, there's also this uh, love jihad because you have a Muslim guy marrying a Hindu girl and uh, how the family comes to accept him, nearly accept him. The father has a frown all the time but the mother accepts them. And then the ghost arrives and complete insanity thereafter. Uh, one would have thought that when you make a film about ghosts, you're tired of shrieking, you're tired of cracking creaking windows, sudden wind coming about, uh, current lights going on and off as if the fuse call, local fuse call office has just called it a day. These kind of cliché templates are something that uh, you don't need a, I, I would suspect you don't need a human being any longer to direct a film with these kind of templates. Obviously, Lawrence doesn't think so. The templates of ghosts taking over, how they enter the body uh, is just a no-no for an audience that's seen so much of this yawn stuff. Now, oh yeah, fortunately, uh, Mr. Platitudes is not at it again. Fortunately for us, after the ghost enters, uh, enters him, he is not talking his labeled patriotism. So we are at least saved of that with the film, but I would also add hurriedly that Akshay looks very aged except for a few scenes where his sense of comedy and his timing is very good. Uh, he hams his way especially when the ghost enters and when he's in a sari. Uh, I don't think uh, he's doing anything to compliment himself. For an actor who's complained for years on end that he's not gotten an award at uh, neither the art lovers nor the commercial lovers have loved him for giving, giving him an award, he's not going to get one for this. Or is he? Uh, I think it is time that uh, filmmakers realized that these kind of ghost stories don't sell. There must be some brilliant work, technical or acting. Or oh, you remember uh, those days when Madan Mohan's music carried you through Vokanti, Anita, uh, uh, of course it was LP, but those Sadhna movies. Or there was Neil Kamal where the somnambulist walked by the night when the ghost haunting her. At least those films had some amazing music. Wahida won the Best Actress Award for Neil Kamal because there was brilliant acting and of course there was Bharat Sahani there. This film certainly doesn't have great technical support. 
its crew is drab, its acting is over the top and you really feel sorry for actors like La Rajesh Sharma and Aisha Reza having to do those kind of things. Surprisingly, it is Kaira Adwani who seems the sanest element in the entire film. But interestingly, in one scene, uh, when uh, Aksha is choosing all the bright red saris in a sari shop, the sister-in-law says, no, she's not the kind who's going to like anything so exaggerated. But unfortunately, she's caught up in a script that's grossly exaggerated. The one saving grace in the film is Sharad Kelkar, who plays the ghost, who's the transgender. Good performance from him. But for that, this is... I know why the word bomb was removed from the title. They were waiting for it to happen at the box office. It's a no-no. Don't waste your time. Festival season, catch up with night sweetmeats and friends. Corona and social distancing not to be forgotten. But this is not a film worth wasting your time on. Bye-bye.